this video we're looking at ways you can refine your search results when searching with Google. So we're starting at the Google homepage for Australia, www.google.com.au and we're going to search for frogs. So we'll type in frogs, press enter, or you can click on the search button and we get a whole heap of results on frogs. Now there are a couple of little choices we can use straight away down on the left hand side. We can go in and say we only want pages from Australia or pages for the whole World Wide Web and if you're logged in to your Google account and that Google account knows where you're based they will also preference results from Perth WA or wherever it is you're located. But there's a lot more to refining searches than just these two things and here's the button that you're looking for, more search tools on the left hand side. Because we can refine the search by whether we want when it's been published, whether we want it in the past hour, 24 hours, in the last week, month or year, or in a custom range. But we can also refine our search by a whole heap of other criteria as well. We can choose to only look at sites with images and that will bring out down all of the ones that are really focused on providing you with lots of great images. We could go and have a look at a whole heap of related searches to help us really target down into what it is exactly we're looking for. We could go and just look at pages that we know have already visited before. You know how it is, you go searching for something, you find some really good information and then you come back another time and you go, where was that page? I really want to be able to get back to it. This will help you do that. Alternatively, you might not want to see the pages that you've already looked at before, so you can choose not yet visited, so it's all new results when you're searching go back down again. If we choose dictionary it will define whatever it is you were searching for. So we've got the definition there for frog. And we can also use reading level. Reading level will sort the pages based on their reading level as to whether they're basic, intermediate or advanced. This can be really useful when working with younger students. And there are a couple more tools down here as well. We can translate foreign pages, great for our LOAT teachers. And verbatim is a tool that searches for exactly what you type in the search box. So normally what Google does is take out some of the common words like to and and. If you choose verbatim, it will search exactly the words you typed in. So lots of handy little tools down the side here that can help refine your search.